In this video, we are looking at Creative Sound Blaster X5. This is uh, the latest DAC amp from Creative. Creative used to be a big player when it comes to audio products, but they have not been making enough headphones or IEMs to be very active in the market. They kind of moved on from those stuff i think and they are more concentrating on wireless products at this point of time in any case uh, this is just not a audio deck amp this one has a microphone control too this is mic gain okay mic gain and uh, there is a mic mic out okay if you have a separate microphone you can use that too this is mute and this is this is a complete setup for someone who likes to game okay sound blaster yeah it is definitely about sound quality but in this in the x5 they have concentrated about a handful of things we get bluetooth we get some some interesting connectivity okay line out line in and with this usb you can connect it with the pc and with your mobile phone initially initially i was not able to make this work from a mobile phone okay initially i was unable to do that but uh, i don't know after the software update or something like that I have been able to run this, this, this desktop level power, uh, power full enough DAC amp from my mobile phone. Okay, so this is interesting, very very interesting in my opinion. This is purely being powered by uh, my mobile phone, so this is working like a dongle. Okay, so that is a very interesting thing for me. And if if I play. It works. It works. Let me. Okay. So this is this is perfectly working. And uh, uh, if we talk about the power figures, uh, this one does 8.2 something uh, VRMS uh, at uh, 300 something ohm. I think 330 ohm. So this is fairly powerful. It's not like it's weak or anything like that. And uh, that is around 218 uh, MW at 330 ohm. So it is powerful enough and drives the few FT3 without much issues. This is the higher impedance version and uh, it works perfectly fine with the uh, Sound Blaster X5. And uh, if we talk about the Bluetooth version, this is uh, 5.0. Nothing special out there. 5.0 is a bit on the bassier side. And it is very interesting when it comes to Bluetooth sound quality. Yes, Bluetooth, you do not get very high resolution sound. You do have enough losses, but this one is very good. It barely has much loss and uh, uh, it is a bit on the basier side. Bluetooth 5.0 was on the basier side. So yeah, we get a bit more body with a bit more uh, base uh, impact area with the uh, Sound Blaster X5 and that is decent. Uh, I do not mind at all, but it kind of is slightly on the slower, slightly on the boomier side. So uh, one can definitely need to keep an uh, mind or keep an uh, eye on that. So if you do not like that kind of boomy kind of stuff, then this might not be the best option. But uh, this is very good when it comes to uh, everything else. Good, good details, very good power and uh, you get very good controls too. Headphone speaker, you can change from that line out, line in, direct, DSP, EQ. You can use your EQ too, but I'm not using anything like that. Bluetooth, you can, you can turn the Bluetooth on here. But uh, I do not want to pair it with the Bluetooth or anything like that. So it is perfectly fine. Just uh, uh, disconnect it from the uh, phone and it just disconnects. And there is fairly easy, very easy to operate to a precise and microphone for gaming and everything. Uh, very good very good thing in my opinion and works as dongle as you guys can see and if i talk about the uh, 
USB sound quality. This is very good, very good in my opinion for the price. Uh, price that uh, this is price that uh, uh, just uh, two hundred and eighty eighty dollars. So the price price range for the price range you are getting a lot. And if I compare it with it with the Fio K seven BT, I believe this one is a better product. This one has uh, uh, microphone and uh, uh, support too, and uh, uh, it is it is just uh, the software too. The software that I get with this one is much more cleaner, much more capable in that regard. Um, I'm not exactly sure what is the Bluetooth version of the Fio K seven, but uh, uh, I I somehow believe that this one is a better product uh, than that. Uh, one can power it from the uh, phone too, so that is a very good thing and. Sound quality is very good. Uh, no issues with the balance or anything like that. The only thing one is to keep in keep in mind is that this one is not warm. This is not a very warm sounding uh, DAC amp. We get a decent decent amount of uh, uh, warmth, but it is not very warm. the The signature, the presentation is uh, more about uh, uh, the crispiness. Okay. Uh, the notes are on the crispier side there is no brightness okay they are on the crisp and more agile side so uh, if you want them to be a bit more uh, fuller thicker this might not be it but if you are not looking for fuller thicker notes maybe you have a warm uh, headphone or warm rem then this is a perfect choice in my opinion there are no issues with this one very good control it gets very loud very powerful too and uh, Bluetooth mode 2 is very good, very clean, no obvious uh, issues. Initially, I, I struggled with the uh, connectivity directly from mobile phone, but at this point of time, there are no issues. So, yeah, it is very, very good. Very good clarity, very good details, very good stage 2. Yeah, definitely all these things are uh, a point for the headphone too. If the headphone has it, this one is, will be able to uh, drive it to very good potential. Do not expect it to be it to drive very hard or very tough headphones okay 8 vrms is not a lot but it is fairly powerful fairly powerful when it comes to most of the headphones and rems no issues with that you will get very good cleanliness very good transparency maybe it could have been slightly warmer to please the uh, the uh, the those who like a bit of uh, a uh, smoother presentation this one is decently smooth no issues with the smoothness or anything like that but it is not very smooth okay it is not like silky smooth or anything like that it is decent and there are no abnormalities no issues with the uh, note body formation or uh, anything at all this is a proper source high quality source very good sound quality and if you are looking for a DAC amp that can work with a lot of products go for this this is this is very good uh, the DAC used is cs43198 and uh, that is a very good DAC already so if you have a budget of around 300 dollars for a DAC amp go for this so there are no issues with this one priced at 280 dollars this is uh, one of the best i have heard so yeah there is it this is my uh, review of the sound blaster x5 Thanks for watching guys, have a nice day, enjoy.